Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2. We're gonna finish off this level today and then maybe cool off. Spent a lot of times with flames lapping at our necks. There's another one set up here near this breakable wall. So, instead of approaching him head on, we're gonna use his explosive barrel to help us break that thing down. There are just a handful of sections like that in this level, but they are cool whenever you come across them. They tend to open up new routes through the level that you otherwise wouldn't expect to be able to traverse like that. Pretty cool. Oh, I love that that's most of her stamina, too. Get in here, get a couple nice swipes. Uh, didn't have the stamina left over to really follow up on that too well, but... This is still pretty fine. These are not the most dangerous enemies. Even approaching them at low stamina and running out. Wow, that was perfectly spaced. Beautiful. When I start an episode off like that, it makes me feel good about how the rest of the episode's gonna go. Which normally, that would be the jinxing point. That would be the point at which I immediately then get grabbed by that attack on the second go around, but no. Feeling kind of on point. Also, I continue to learn more about the Soul Core system. Uh, we talked about that a little bit previously and in the bonus episode. But since then, uh, I've come across even more information on the nuances of this. Uh, so, one, there are some Guardian Spirits that will increase your Yokai ability damage. If their types match the Guardian Spirit type, so Feral to Feral, Phantom to Phantom, etc. That's kind of a known. Once you, once you come across them and really get to inspect their abilities. Uh, there's a skill in the Shifling Tree that refunds anima if you have matching types, so even more benefit there. But there's also something innate that goes even deeper. Uh, if you have two Guardian Spirits with the same type but different elements, their Yokai abilities get damage buffs. There are so many different permutations of things in this game of equipment pieces, of buffs, of skills, of passives you equip to your active skills, uh, guardian spirits, yokai abilities, hell, even your clan. And then all of these different unexpected under the hood synergies on top of that. You could really fall all the way down the rabbit hole if you wanted to. It's probably a large part of the appeal of the game for some folks. Being able to play it like a loot-heavy dungeon-crawling RPG, like, uh, Diablo. Unfortunately. So for me, the loot system and the kind of just overwhelming nature of it and, oh, you're constantly getting all of these drops with random effects and I never care to sort through them, I just find that aspect of it kind of tedious. For me... It's a negative, uh, but for a lot of folks, it's probably a, a huge part of the appeal. So, oh, how did that miss? Oh no! <laughs> okay, he's taking a shot. That was not even aimed at the head, but I'll take that. Uh, I wanted to clear him out because once we drop into this room... We're in a small space with a wheel monk and fire already on the ground, which just further cordons off where you can fight. At least where you can fight safely. There we go. I brought too many uh, fire items into this level. Lightning is still good, uh, and my fire shot and my uh, fire... not Shikigami, that's the other one. Uh, my explosive bolt talismans aren't terrible against every enemy in the level, but they are against the boss and a lot of enemies. Thundershot's still good, though. And our Lightning Talisman. And Life Leech and all that stuff. So this'll be the first of two shortcuts leading back to the second shrine. Uh, and the other one you can see is already closed off on the right side. 
So we'll be looping around to that in a little bit. I'm trying to remember where the Nurikabe in this level is. I feel like it's supposed to be close by, but I can't remember. Uh, and is it the one that leads to the hot spring in this level? No, 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 it's not. Okay, it's fine then. So even if we don't find the Nurikabe, we can still hit up that hot spring before we head into the boss. Just looking really closely and making sure that I didn't miss it inside the burning temple. Alright, we can proceed forward. Is this not a chest? No, it is not. Uh, so we're going to head over try to get to the left here uh, because there is an NPC waiting for us. Now, he may or may not join us because we didn't do a, 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 most of the side quests up to this point. And sometimes that is a prerequisite for some of the NPCs to join you. It's why uh, one of the NPCs in, was it the previous level or the one before that, was so standoffish towards us. Uh, if we had done a side quest for him prior to that level, to that mission, uh, we would have been able to get him to help us for a bit. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the case with him. Get out of here. Get out. Duel me. Duel me, coward. Yeah, no, he's not going anywhere. Uh, so, I think we want to head through here. And that'll be our most efficient path to the boss. I want to be careful what I awaken in here. Again, small space. Don't want to fight too many things at once. Ooh, that just clipped me. Just the, the shockwave of it clipped me. Yeah, this is the one that I didn't want to aggro while fighting Big Skeleton. Uh, do you want to do anything? It's going to be a little bit more cramped and difficult to avoid some of those long-range attacks in here. So, we're going to try to bait some of the short-range stuff out. Thought they were rearing back for one of their poison or fire spits. Like that. It's just the first swing around that you really have to avoid. I feel like in Neo 1, they did multiple revolutions that could catch you each time. Like, they could catch you on the way back with the grab. Yeah, I think that's the hot spring over on the yeah. left. Uh, we can't jump down from here, but I think once we bust through uh, the wall and fight... It actually is it? Is it Ipon Datara? Oh no, it's just another one of these... There are a couple of Epon Dotteras coming up. Uh, an enemy that we haven't seen in a good long while, it feels like. Not since some of the early missions. Let's get this on in just in case. I know I said they're not that dangerous, but if we take a grab and then just one follow up long range hit, it's still not going to be great. And this lets us just go ham and trade. Play a little bit more aggressively, a little more recklessly. Which I always like to do. I tend to try to play just as recklessly as I think I can get away with. And sometimes I am wrong. <laughs> And this is that second shortcut, back to shrine number two. So now, even if we die, we're actually pretty close to the boss. So you could actually just do the run from here. Uh, it's not that pleasant a run. Compared to, like, the five feet away they are uh, from the final shrine of the level. That's good damage. All three of those hits to the back. I'm gonna try to finish you off before. Ah, damn it. Only then landed. Okay, you come running. I'm gonna hit a heavy attack. And 
should be able to do this before any retaliation comes. Good, good, good. Good, good. And I'm not even gonna bother popping an elixir or anything because I know the hot spring is right through the gates. Yeah, so I don't actually remember what the Nurikabe I was thinking about leads to. I just know that it, there's one somewhere past the second shrine. As long as it's not gating off access to this, I'm way less worried about it. I think that's another wall breakable from the other side. And now I think all we... Oh, hello. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to fight these two out here. Uh, and then clean up the riflemen after. Oh, let me get this off. That was really close. Once the animation starts and the camera changes, you're fine. You can be knocked out of it or hurt before that, though. Uh, and that could have been nasty. Oops. Uh, not what I wanted. There we go. Now we'll just see what we can get away with in terms of this angle. Just off him. <laughs> just peek him from the corner. Oh, yeah, a little Do I want to? Yeah, I might as well. I haven't actually uh, given anything to a Sudama in a little while. Oh, wait, I didn't greet him yet? Say hi to the little buddy. Gimme, gimme. Aw, oh, come on, little dude. Gimme, gimme never gets. Uh, let's give him some Dianjin Saki. And what is the payoff? Huh, not bad. Red Spider Lily. We got all of our sake back. And, uh, Red Spider Lily. And then you can take either way back through the fire that you want. You can either avoid it on the roof, or you can just smash into the barrel of water and run the opposite way. I like coming this way, because you can then run along this uh, pathway of roofs. Connected by all of these awnings that form bridges. Uh, and it gets you just that one step closer to your goal. Where we have one more Dark Realm, and then it's boss time for the level. And this is a pretty interesting, fairly tough boss coming up. Oh, first we have to get through like three Karokas. Oh, you would do that. You would sting her right into the fire where it's a pain in the ass to hit you. God. They're just gonna oh, plant themselves there. Make it really annoying to get near him. There we go. You're gonna sting her out into the open. No! Immediately dash back into the fire. Okay. Now just, yeah, back dash. Whoops. That's a bad mistake. That lights you on fire too, huh? Only taken one at a time. Too early. Oh well, that's dealt with. I think that's the most annoying Kuroka in the level. Just because the arena you fight them in. Uh, let's see, that's... The Unmuto is not the one generating the Dork Realm, nor is the Wheel Monk here. Oh, just right past me. God, I love 
that combination with the Light Leech Talisman represents so much healing because of the insane burst damage. Always love it when I spend that much anima uh, on a yokai ability and just get the full refill off of the soul core pickup when they die. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Like everything working out perfectly. So with that gate that we just opened up, uh, we could go right to the boss. But we want to make sure that that shrine is open to us. Uh, that one's a little problem, isn't it? Let's try a fight over here, and if that doesn't work out... Oops. Oh, hello. Okay, this should buy us enough time to shoot him. I hope. Oh, oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Little bit too slow. Spacing is perfect. I don't think I aggroed the Rifleman this time either. So this is going to be a completely fair one-on-one. -on -one. And in those circumstances, this enemy is not very scary. Might be able to kill before he gets his anima back. If not, this is still fine. I don't really have that much stamina to work with. Ooh, whoops. I love how perfectly I have that down. That feels really good. That's one of my favorite things about about uh, just the movement in Neo, is you get to play footsies with the enemy. There's Napon Dadara. I think that's the one generating the Dark Realm. These ones are pretty fun to dash around to because they have really fair hitboxes for as big as their weapon is. Didn't quite extinguish the fire there. Uh, and I am caught up again. It's not too much. It's just some chip damage. Which, if you let it, it can add up. Oh, that's kind of worrisome. You should be good now. Let's do a little more damage. He's going to go into red state. And we can fatal blow it. We also had this buff available to us if we had come the other way around or just ran past the Ebon uh, and buffed it while we aggroed him. Uh, not going to worry about the Wheel Monk that we killed previously just because the shrine is now unlocked and it can't reach us before we rest. No, more magic. More magic. Especially now that the build is finally starting to crystallize a little bit. And the boss is right there in front of us. For, I think there's a Konama somewhere around here. Ah, there he is. Concealed behind a curtain of flame. Let's see, this is try number three. First attempt was not very long. 
but after the second, I'm feeling much better. Got my bearings back for this fight. Uh, so the big thing that you should know is that you can dash through her. And that really messes her tracking. Uh, other than that, I think Light Leash Talisman is the MVP of this fight. Because it's very easy to take small ship damage constantly. Uh, from the fire, from the trails of fire. Uh, from some of her smaller attacks, like she has a kind of a, a Meowth Fury swipe attack. Which makes sense for, I guess, the thick... Girl riding wheel monks. Uh, stamina is again pretty hard to manage during this fight because there's so much going on. And because you have to be extra evasive, and she's pretty aggressive. Uh, plus, the Dark Realm phase does not help matters there. So, just having the Life Leech Talisman to offset a lot of the chip damage you take. It's great. It gives you it gives you the opportunity to trade with her. And this attack, this Beyblade, uh, usually it'll track you down until you block it or it hits you three times. And each time you block it, knocks it a little ways away. So you can have time to uh, put your guard down, get your stamina back a little bit quicker, and then move into it, preempting any chance it gets to really do damage. Also, that is the yokai ability that you get from her soul core, and it's really, really good. You know, I had been saving my, my yokai form uh, for if this fight went to a second Dark Realm, but it might not at this point. Uh, and then the only thing new about her return to this phase is on top of having the Beyblade now, she summons two Gaki adds, which they're really easy to just ignore because she herself is so mobile, so you're constantly chasing her around, which means they're constantly having to chase you. And they just aren't significant enough concerns to bother breaking focus. I think she can actually hurt them as well. And of course, uh, if you manage to make it around to her side, you can break some of the Amrita crystals on the wheels, do a bunch of damage, and stamina damage that way. Yeah, this is going pretty smoothly. Whereas the first two attempts, not so much. They were my dry runs, my practice attempts. There we go. Kasha gets pretty tough. It's a fun fight, though. Cat girl chariot.今度は光輝く美しい石を送ってくださいました。願いが叶う石だとか。ですが、この石を見ると胸騒ぎがして。望みに身を任せるのは何とも薄気に悪くて争いは終わらない人が人たる限りはそれが
世の断りなのでしょうしかしあなたの身には人の業さえ超える力が秘められているはず夫長政の死により愛を失った私に強く生きよと命じた兄と姉その二人も今や炎の中に倒れたこれ以上の悲しみを破滅へと私を誘うやもしれません。ご無事で Alright, that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.